team eat Chefs cause she's a treat Ooh, she's so bougie bougie Oh never tea I'm a savage Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is how we did the DIY panelling in the living room wall. So we started off by filling in any holes and sanding them down. These are the panels that we used. We got these from B&Q and we also used the No More Nails and the adhesive that we got from Wilkinson. So we applied the adhesive evenly on the flat side of the panel. Um, we put a generous amount but tried not to put so much so it doesn't overflow once you actually press it onto the wall. Okay, so when ready to apply to the wall to ensure that it's absolutely straight, well as straight as it can be, um, one of us held the leveller while the other applied it onto the wall, um, continuously checking that it was actually straight and that everything fit right. Once happy with the placement we just pressed firmly onto the wall and also added like extra adhesive where we saw any gaps and we just held it there for a few minutes, seconds even, just to make sure that it was firmly in place before moving on to the next part. We continued the same process along the length of the wall because we started off with the easiest part which was the middle section because it was literally the lines just going straight the panelling just going straight through the middle. Once happy with that, we moved on to the square slash rectangular parts of the panelling. We measured the wall and marked off on the panelling um, exactly what we needed just to make sure that everything fit correctly and evenly on the wall. Each side was cut, this is how it looked. So once it was on the floor, just to make sure that there was no mistakes, I actually made a line with pencil of the direction we need to make the cuts in. So using a cutting guide at 45 degrees, this cutting guide is amazing, makes it so much easier to make sure you're cutting exactly what you need. So starting from the very corner at the 45 degree angle, we just sawed straight through that to get rid of that tip and make sure it all blends like this and looks seamless. Okay, so as you can see, I made little markings on the wall just to make sure that the spacings were equal and we can keep track of exactly where we wanted it to be. Moving on to actually sticking them on, it's the same method using the um, leveling guide thing just to make sure that it's absolutely straight and pressing it down and holding it. This part is actually like putting a puzzle together because you've cut them all up and then now you need to like put them into like their sections. Max was actually a champ, he did the rest of the panelling by himself with some verbal assistance slash inspiration from me of course. Continued on using the same method, holding the leveling guide with one hand and applying the panelling um, planks with the other, making sure that it's straight and stays on firmly before moving on to the next part. And the finishing one is super easy, you don't even need the leveling guide because at this point the other two are helping you know where it's meant to be anyway and if you've done it right it should all fit perfectly so you just press that into place and push it down and make sure it's there to stay. See, there were some tiny gaps in the wood like where it was connecting so I just got some brown wood filler and filled that in with my finger.
I left that to dry for a day and once it was done I just sanded it down so it could be smooth and have like a nice finish. Before painting everything we actually put some primer and just on the wood sections. Now it's time to hide these visible gaps within the wall. You want everything to be smooth and just look like it's part of like the wall. So to do this we use the indoor sealant. Sealant where the gaps were and just swipe through with my finger. Super easy and this is what it looked like while it was drying. Off camera once the sealant was dry I did go around and just sand any areas that were bumpy just to make sure it's smooth for painting. To paint we did use the Brilliant White Wilco brand Silk Paint. So after two coats of paint and a lot of hard work, these are the final results. I'm so happy with the results. I'm absolutely loving the way it looks and hopefully my children don't mess up these white walls. <laughs>